the way Shannon kisses, like she's trying to break her neck and break the person's neck she's kissing. So, oh my gosh, Cash made me so happy this, this episode. Like, who are you? You see, that's why Cinco and Trina are a perfect match because they both feel entitled. Oh, Can I talk to you real quick? And Cash is like, you know, I'll talk to you in bed. Rightfully so. What do you want to talk to me about? I already heard what you did. You've picked Trina. So what do you really have to tell me? Absolutely nothing. Because I heard it already from somebody else's mouth. Yes. Trina has the audacity to say, don't apologize for the immaturity. <laughs> so now I was talking about how she's including herself in this love square. I'm like, baby girl, it's no longer a love square because cash has cashed out. Okay? No pun intended. No substance. Absolutely none. Literally zero. Hey everyone, I'm your host Mayoku and today I am back with another video on Love Island USA Season 3, Episode 7. Let's get straight into the video. So the episode starts off with Trina telling Shannon and... Hold on. Let's talk about Shannon real quick. Did you guys hear about how she basically made a black lives matter joke because during a challenge when florida had to actually no when roxy had to take off isaiah's shirt with her teeth and then people were telling isaiah to like kneel down and put his hands up and in the background you hear shannon say hands up don't shoot you see this is the problem i had mixed mixed feelings about shannon and now it's clear that i don't like her like, every time I see Shannon, Cinco, and Trina on my screen, this is me. Because I refuse to watch nonsense. <laughs> so, as I was saying, Trina runs to Shannon and Kira. And she tells them how, yes, yeah, Cinco just picked me. She's like smiling. She's like, I'm trying to smile. I'm trying to smile, but I don't want it to be too obvious. Mind you, she's telling Shannon and Kira that Cinco picked her. And Cash is literally sitting right next to her, on like on the chair, like right next to her with Amy. Over here's Trina talking about how Cinco picked her. And mind you, Cinco hasn't even told Cash yet that he picked Trina. Because 40 minutes ago, he told Cash he wasn't sure about his decision on who he was going to pick because it was a tough decision. So Trina is like, I'm so happy right now, but I feel so bad. No, you don't. You do not feel bad one bit. Trina, let me tell you something about Trina. She's not even, she, what, 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 <laughs> what category should I put Trina in? That doesn't sound too negative. She's not a girl's girl. Let's just say that. Like she has a very, she, I, she has a very I don't care about you attitude, which stinks. It's a really stinky attitude. It's like nobody's forcing you to be a girl's girl and to be best friends with Cash, but at least have a little bit of respect. Like there's something about Trina that just really pisses me off. Like you guys, this season and like every other season, I try to support black people. But Trina and Cinco are making it so hard for me. So, so hard. Like every time I, I uh, they're making it so hard. <laughs> Even at one point, her and Cinco were talking and Cinco is like, I apologize for this whole mess. Trina has the audacity to say, don't apologize for the immaturity. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Trina must be some famous god we're not aware of. Because I don't know who she thinks she is. <laughs> she must be a famous god. I'm going to look her... I'm going to do some deep research about Trina because I refuse to believe she's a mere human being like me. I honestly believe she has some kind of supernatural powers that we are unaware of. Because the way she thinks... She she could get oh what like when she said that I was like who are you talking to who who are you talking about it better not be cash because if there's anything immature here it's you you're the immaturity you're the immature one so I don't even want to hear it like girl bye Cinco wants to talk to Cash and he's in the villa and he's talking about oh can I talk to you real quick and Cash is like you know I'll talk to you in bed rightfully so what do you want to talk to me about I already heard what you did you've picked Trina. So what do you really have to tell me? Absolutely nothing. Because I heard it already from somebody else's mouth. Then Cinco starts catching an attitude and he's like, I wanted to talk to her, but he, mind you, he went to everyone. He's like, I'm trying to talk to her and she doesn't even want to talk to me. Yeah, she doesn't. Give her space. Why does she have to talk to you when you want to talk to her? Who are you? You see, that's why Cinco and Trina are a perfect match because they both 
feel entitled clearly because if cash doesn't want to talk to you she doesn't want to talk to you let it go like anyway so he gets to pull her for a chat later on in the day and <laughs> my girl cash is working out she's like doing her squats i know that's right she's doing her squats and cinco comes up and he's like i just wanted to talk to you because we haven't spoken and cash is like okay and like <laughs> she she looks so uninterested rightfully so oh my gosh cash made me so happy this this episode like she looked so uninterested when Cinco was talking to her, she was like, okay, what do you have to say? Like, speed it up. Like, I'm working out. Like, honestly, everything you have to say, just just talk. And then Cinco was like, I'm, I apologize about how yesterday was a hard decision. No, it wasn't. The decision was clear as day, easy, AF. You wanted Trina, so nothing was hard about that decision. Don't lie. At least if you want to come to me and talk to me and apologize, stop lying. Just tell me the truth. Like, hey, yeah, this is what it is. Don't say it was a tough... Don't keep repeating that it was a tough decision because it wasn't. And the more you repeat it, it's very understandable why cash is getting irritated you're repeating something was a tough decision but it was not and it was clear to see that it wasn't so why do you keep repeating it cinco oh then he ends the conversation with i still want to be friends <laughs> that's all you were a friend i don't think you were looking for anything else so shocker you still want to be friends that's all you were to cash a friend so what exactly what exactly? Why are you making it seem like y'all weren't friends? I still want to be friends. Okay. And Cash was like, okay, yeah, I'll talk to you. No, actually, no. Cash was like, I don't want to be your friend. <laughs> Cash was like, I don't want to be your friend. I mean, we could talk and vibe, but I don't want to be your friend. Yeah, she doesn't want to be your friend. And then something about Leanne. Y'all know I love my girl Leanne. She just came in. Leanne goes on a date with Cinco. Florita goes on a date with Josh. And roxy goes on a date with isaiah so leanne was talking about how she's including herself in this love square i'm like baby girl it's no longer a love square because cash has cashed out okay no pun intended cash is not part of this love square you're talking about so it's now a love triangle between you trina and cinco do not count cash in this she is not here anymore she's emotionally checked out physically checked out she does not care for cinco so it's not a love square anymore it's now a love triangle it's back to a love triangle. Later on in the episode, Cinco and Trina have another conversation. You guys, their conversation is purely about appearances and sexual, sexual things. Like, no substance. Absolutely none. Literally zero. Zero. Not even one bit. Mm-mm. Like, <laughs> that's all they talk about. Literally. No substance whatsoever. When Florita picks Josh to go on a date, Corey apparently was sad. What are you sad for, Corey? Like, let this girl let, get to know people. Because let her get to know people. So Corey was, like, upset a little bit. He was like, yeah, damn. Like, I was sad when you picked when you picked Josh. But, like, she can get to know whoever she wants. I don't think Florita likes Corey. So Corey needs to just relax a little bit. I feel like he's... The pressure of him not having anyone is making him want to rush into something. And Florita doesn't look like she's interested in rushing. I mean, she's smiling with him. Like, yeah, I really like you, but... Deep down inside, I don't really think she likes him 100% just yet. Like, I think she really wants to take it slow. But Corey is, like, really pushy a little bit. Um, so I think, yeah, I don't think that really sits well with Florita. But but when Florita picks Josh, Shannon is there like, I'm a confident woman. I don't care. Shannon, you're everything but confident. Like, you... <laughs> what, what Shannon? The thing I really liked about Cash, which is really good but so sad that this is what it has come to, is... She obviously doesn't want to be deemed as the stereotypical angry black girl. So she's taking a lot of nonsense and rubbish from Trina and Cinco. She's letting a lot of things slide. Like, I know a lot of people are like saying, oh, she's not confrontational. She might not be, but I also think she's keeping at the back of her head that she is on national TV. So she can't misbehave, you know? So in as much as I do think she's very kind, I also think she's trying to like, make sure she doesn't you know feed that stereotype of being an angry black girl who is now angry because somebody didn't choose her and blah blah blah, blah. so i really feel for cash and i really love how she's like holding herself and how she's acting this season then we have kira and will i don't even think they showed them on the screen this episode nowhere to be found boring we don't care then amy i love amy i absolutely love amy i feel like her and cash have a, such a strong bond i really love amy Amy and Jeremy, nowhere to be found, boring. Well, Jeremy is boring. He can leave. Mind you, next episode is the recoupling. Lord have mercy. Amy and Cash. I just don't want 
any of those two girls to go home. I'm gonna be so angry, you guys. If Amy or Cash go home tomorrow, I'm not making a video. <laughs> Cause I'm gonna be my feelings after I'm making a video. If, if, okay, if Amy gets voted out, I might come on here. I just might. But if Cash leaves tomorrow, I'm not coming on. I'm not making a video. I'm not, I refuse, I refuse. Then they have a game where they're like passing a box. This was shown on the drop episode. So they're passing a box and music plays and when the music stops and you're holding the box you have to do whatever like dare uh that's inside the box so shannon's dare was to kiss any guy she wants if she misses when she throws a ball into like a cup and she kisses josh the way shannon kisses like she's trying to break her neck and break the person's neck she's kissing like calm down <laughs> then cash and isaiah y'all it was steamy okay Cash got a dare to kiss someone in front of like the neon lights. So Cash chooses Isaiah. Did y'all peep Roxy's face when she chose Isaiah? Roxy was like, <laughs> girl, move to the side, please. Like, let Cash do her thing. So Cash kiss it. My, in fact, correction, Cash does not kiss Isaiah. They devour each other. Ca Cash literally devours. She devours <laughs> Isaiah. That was not a kiss. That was more than a kiss. I don't know what's going on, but it was a lot. But that's it for today's episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new here, welcome. If you're not, thank you so much for coming back. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys when I talk about episode eight. Bye, guys. <laughs>